To me, Global Reach Out is inspiring. It's connecting with God, reaching out to the world, and impacting life. The stories that are shared is so personal and it deeply impacted me. Global Reach Out to me is reach out to the truth. Connecting hearts, connecting lives. You're listening to Global Reach Out. Hi everyone, I'm Elaine here. Welcome to Bringing Heaven Home. We have learned from different speakers in the Bringing Heaven Home team about the world's needs of father. And today our focus will be on mother. What about mother? Mother plays an important role in our home too. Not easy, but with God's help, we can and will be able to fulfill the roles of a mother. I will be sharing with you all the roles of a mother and the five responsibilities of a mother. Remember a song that I learned when I was young, and that goes like this. Meaning, mother is the best in this world. But our father is also important. And this is just to affirm our fathers who are here listening. We know that the father is important in the past session with the different speakers that shared in our The World Needs a Father series. But today, because our focus is on mother, and I just want to share to all our mothers, we know to be a mother is really not easy. Mother works day and night and have heavy responsibilities on her shoulder. And because of time, I will limit my sharing today and will look into five responsibilities of a mother. The five responsibilities of a mother, number one, validating the husband, imparting intimacy to children, nurturing and caring for the children, maintaining social networks for the family, and being the primary homemaker. First, mother needs to validate the husband. The focus here is the father to honour and respect him. Second, mother needs to impart intimacy to our children. And the focus here is our children, to give them love. Third, nurturing and caring for the children. The focus here is our children, to nurture and care for them. Fourth, mother needs to maintain a social network for the family. And lastly, mother is the primary homemaker. So here we can see mother carry many heavy responsibilities in the home to support husband in the family. So children and father need to appreciate and support our mother too. As children, love our mother as she cares for her children and everyone at home. The secret in building healthy relationship at home, we must first establish a strong foundation of a husband and wife relationship to love one another. And the best gift that father can give to our children is to love his wife, the mother. This will provide security to children starting healthy relationship at home. For women, the secret to loving is the need to feel love, especially coming from husband to love his wife. For men, they need to feel respected. Mother needs to honor and show love and respect to her husband. And once this is established, our home will be filled with love and harmony. This is the secret of bringing heaven home. And it starts with husband and wife. Now, let's go to our first point, validating the husband. To validate is to visibly and verbally affirm the worth, ability, and relevance of a person. You affirm the value of who they are and what they are doing. 
understanding how to validate your husband effectively is one of the most important ways you can bring heaven into home. To have a united front, the mother and father should be united together in deciding on the moral environment for the children. Be careful not to critique each other in front of the children. For example, mother, please do not say anything bad about your husband in front of your children. When a father gives a suggestion to the family that we need to do something, it is always good for a mother to prepare the hearts of our children what is happening so that the father, when gives a suggestion, our children will be ready and will say yes and happy to submit the father. This is the role of a mother. Always be there to prepare the hearts of our children to obey and submit to our father as the head of the family. To be united by transfer and interpretation of faith. The most important principle of a child to learn is the principle of obedience. Mothers generally have a better sense of the child's struggle and emotions. Fathers generally have a better, bigger picture to focus. Without your validation, the father of your children will always struggle to fulfill his roles properly. To be united by transfer and interpretation of accepted value, the father's role is to confer identity, and that includes the family values. The mother's role is to translate these values into practical terms. And be united in affirmation. It is important for father to affirm a child. Mothers must encourage and support this. Be united in family meetings. Family meetings create a sense of our decision, not a decision imposed upon us. So if there is any differences in our views and opinions, it is best for husband and wife to first discuss among themselves and find a common ground before bringing this out to our children. This will show unity in heart and mind of parents. And this is also to avoid disagreement and arguments in front of our children. For mother, always affirm father in front of our children that father's abilities, good character and values. As a wife, Let's have a willing and cheerful heart to follow and submit our husband. Modeling to our children that mommy will follow what daddy says. Daddy is the best. He is our superhero. For example, in my home, our children can come to me to ask for things. But I will always tell them that daddy will always have the final say, whether can or cannot. We need to establish that daddy is the head of the family. We need to listen and obey to make the order and the line of authority clear so that there will be no confusion in the home. So mother, for us as a wife, we can agree to disagree. But when we agree, let's do it wholeheartedly and not grudgingly or reluctantly because our children can see it when we agree, but still not happy. This is not a good way of modeling to our children at all. As women, we must be careful not to go against God's order for the family. We all submit to God and to each other. The husband submits to God, and the wife submits to her husband, and the children submit to their parents. The way a husband leads his wife should empower her and nurture her growth in Christ. He should never make her feel inferior. The Bible is God's manual for heavenly life. The father and mother should be on a united front in deciding on the moral environment for the children. We need to be careful 
not to critique each other in front of our children. Our children will feel secure when they know that their parents love and respect each other. That are the representative of the Father God in the home. The picture of a six-year-old has of a God is based on the one that they have of this earthly father. It is understandable that it will affect the child's faith when the God feeder is undermined and criticized on a regular basis. Our children should see unity and mutual respect on this ongoing basis. The most important principle for a child to learn is the principle of obedience. If they do not learn to obey their parents as the authoritative figure in their lives, they will really find it difficult to obey God when they grow up. Children learn by watching others. And the primary example of relationship is the one between their mommy and daddy. When they see trust and love expressed, they will model it in the expressions of love to others. We must form a united front for our children so they can feel safe. Our children feel safe because they know the boundaries in which they may operate. For today's session, we look into the role of a mother and one of the key responsibility of a mother is to validate the husband and to try in building a united front so that we can bring heaven home together in turning the hearts of our children to parents and parents' hearts to our children till our Lord's returns. And in our next session, we will continue on the role of a mother, looking into other responsibilities of a mother. So stay tuned and see you in our next session. Shalom. The program is proudly presented by Global Reach Out. We welcome you to share our live enriching webcasts with family and friends through our website, global-reachout.org. Let's reach out to bless more lives together.